Hello again and welcome to another 140k Imperial Guard Tactics video. Now before we get into today's video, I would like to say a huge thank you to Lucas Perez for sending in some awesome pictures of his 251st Mordian rifles. Really, really like the colour scheme and I have to say very, very impressed with that display ball with the Imperial City. Looks absolutely epic. Thank you for sending these pictures in. If anyone else has got any cool pictures they want to use in my videos, please post them on my Facebook page or you can email them to me at morningglorytv at gmail.com. And don't worry if you can't remember that, it'll be down in the description below. Now, without further ado, let's get into today's video. Now, today, guys, I want to do a quick tip tactical one that's going to be useful for Imperial Guard players and pure Scion players alike. You see, I've been playing with my Scions a lot recently. I've been unlocking lots of great little tactics and stratagem combinations that are really, really effective. And one of the ones that I want to look at today is something uh, called the Killing Zone. Now, the Killing Zone is not the name that I'm making up for. It's actually in the book. It's named after one of the stratagems that you can do. And it's actually really, really effective. And for as little as 150 points, as a guard commander, you can add this tactic into your into your toolbox. And as a Scion commander, it's certainly one that you want to be aware of because you want to take advantage of this. So it's very simple. For 150 points, what you can get is a basic Scion squad, You can with which comes with the free plasma pistol as, at the moment. You can also get yourself a Tempesta Prime with a command rod and a Hotshot Volley Gun command squad. That is four Scions all with Hotshot Volley Guns. That's super, super cheap. And what you do with that, it's got a really, really small footprint. All of those models, it's just 10 models in total. Really easy for you to find chinks in the enemy's deep striking denial zones. And it's really effective because what it allows you to do is to deep strike into a small crack. It's all on 25 millimeter bases. And it allows, what I like to use it for is to delete an enemy backfield unit. You see, I have found a lot in 9th edition that, especially as we've been able to play games more recently, that the opponent will put as much as possible into the mid uh, midboard monster mash. Uh, and will often leave a small unit just guarding their flanks or guarding, uh, you know, to, to deposit on a little objective. Now, sometimes that'll be their backfield objective and it might be something as basic as five tactical marines. Or you might find that it's a little unit that they run off to try and grab a little objective uh, on the side. Now, uh, one thing that tip, you know, regular guy can struggle with is outside of, you know, using mortars, or full payload manticles and mortars are a little inefficient these days and full, load, full payload manticles are certainly high on your opponent's priority list it can be difficult to get around the line side blocking terrain and identify these small units that your opponent are using and delete them well for 150 points you can delete that and 150 points is a very good price point that is typically how much the enemy small unit will cost that's trying to do this little snatch and grab or do this little you know hold the backfield objective so like what well, like i said you take these three units you drop them in now you because uh, you've got a tempesta prime with a command rod it allows you to issue a bunch of extra orders you can issue two orders now what's really interesting is there's two ways to go about this if you're um doing this as a separate detachment in your guard if you if you you know can take a little patrol this will fit into a little additional patrol now if now if you can afford the command points you can take this in its own separate little patrol but you can actually use this tactic just in your normal guard attachment that you can take some sounds and they won't get a trait it won't be as effective but it does mean it can save you a few command points but what you can do is there's, there's sort of two approaches you can take with this you need to go land on lions or you can go capic eagles with this i actually would probably say that capic eagles is better for this because you're going to be dropping down you're going to be using hot shot volley guns and you don't necessarily want to be hitting on fours of those hot shot volley guns you'd rather hit on threes because you can drop down and still hit with no penalty with hot shot volley guns if you are capic eagles now what you do is you drop down and you issue to your first squad it can be first rank fire second rank fire or it could be uh, real one hit it doesn't really matter the thing is you just want to make sure that you're able to kill one enemy model from that squad so you've got your plasma pistol you can overcharge that it doesn't matter if your sergeant lives or dies all that matters is that that first squad that bare bones scion squad is able to plink off a wound from this little unit that you're trying to get rid of. Okay, now if you've got 10 points spare, and if you are going Capic Eagles, uh, you could definitely take two Volley Guns in this starter squad. 
okay? And if you do take the two volley guns in the start squad, I definitely recommend going for the reroll ones to hit take aim on that squad. If you're going for, you know, I want to save those 10 points, I want to keep it to 150 points, then I would go for first rank fire, second rank fire, because you want to get as many shots through as possible. Now, the important thing is, like I said, is you are able to kill one of these little marines or equivalent that are on the back, uh, that are on the back field. Now, when you do that, you can activate two stratagems at the same time, okay? The first one is what you know, gives the namesake to this tactic, is called the killing zone, okay? Now the killing zone is really interesting, it's one command point. Use a stratagem in your shooting phase after you've shot with a Tempestus Regiment infantry unit from your army. Select one enemy unit that has had any models destroyed as a result of attacks made by models from that unit in that phase until the end of the phase when resolving an attack made by friendly Tempestus Regiment infantry models against that enemy unit add one to the hit wound roll. So that's really really effective. Basically gives you a, a plus one to wound roll on the next squad. Guess what's coming up next? It's your hotshot volley gun squad. But you've already got plus one to wound. Then you make it spicier. Okay, you're gonna be you've, you've deep striked in. You're gonna be in half range with those hotshot volley guns. You were in half range with the hotshot last guns, but you will be in range with the hotshot volley gun command squad. Another command point. Another command point. Okay, this one is gonna make those hotshot volley guns truly, truly terrifying. And this command point is called point blank efficiency. Okay, use a stratagem in the shooting phase when a military and tempestive unit from your army is chosen to shoot with until the end of the phase when resolving attack with a hotshot las gun, hotshot las pistol, or, oh yeah, hotshot volley gun by a model in that unit against a unit within half range. Add one to the strength characteristic of the weapon for that attack. So what does that mean, guys? If you've gone Kappa Eagles and you're doing this, that means you're dropping down. That means that you are hitting the enemy with strength five hotshot volley guns. That means that you are wounding the enemy with a plus one to wound. If it's against something that's a marine equivalent, you're wounding the enemy on twos. Because you're strength five versus their toughness four and you've got a plus one to wound. Wounding on twos. Now if you're Cap Giggles, that's AP minus two on all that weaponry. Nice. That's really powerful. And what that allows you to do is basically hit on threes and you can reroll ones to wound, uh, rerolling re ones and then wounding on twos and then AP minus two. And you're doing that with 16 shots. Nice. Really, really, really effective. And that will allow you between the first squad and this squad will allow you to seriously do some damage to that back of the unit and you've got a very high chance of actually killing it. So yeah, let's do a little bit of math to back this up. So the first squad, let's say you've paid the volley guns on that first squad. That means you've got eight shot, hot shot volley gun shots. They're going in, they're hitting on threes, re-rolling ones, okay? Now you've got eight shots, you're gonna hit with about six of them. You're gonna wound with about three of them. The enemy's only got a five up save. That is gonna kill one of those Marines straight up. He's gone, he's dead. Fantastic. You've then got the plasma pistol, the free plasma pistol. Don't forget that. Now that plasma pistol, it's gonna be hit overcharged. It's gonna be hitting on threes, re-rolling ones. You've got a really good chance of making that hit. Then you've got a good chance of doing the wound. You're gonna be wounding on twos. The enemy's only gonna have a three up save. The, the odds are in your favor that actually that first squad with two hotshot volley guns with, with take aim on them is gonna take out two Marines. You only need to take out one, but it, the, the odds are it's gonna take out two. Then the command squad goes in. It's got four hotshot volley guns. Okay, now you're gonna be hitting on threes of those hotshot volley guns. Again, you're gonna be rerolling ones to wound. So you're going to be hitting with out of 16 shots, you're going to be hitting with like 10, 11, after re-rolls, you should be hitting with about 12. Then you're wounding the enemy on twos. You're wounding them on twos because you're strength five with a plus one to wound against an, an MEQ target. Okay, Marine equivalent target. You'll be wounding on twos, which means you're going to get 10 wounds through. Now the enemy's only going to be on a five up save. If that the averages are going to make about three of the three out of ten saves, that's what they should make. That means they take seven wounds. That does that kills another three and a half marines. So you have half marines worth of leeway, and you can do all this for 150 points. You just drop in, you delete that unit, and then you've not only have you denied the enemy an objective, 
okay but you've scored yourself some secondary points with engaged north front and you've got a back you've got a backfield threat into the enemy which they have to deal with if they don't deal with it you're probably going to walk on to that objective get yourself some more points you're going to be continually getting engaged north fronts and if they do come after you then you're pulling units away from their front line you're pulling firepower away from your guardsmen or from the rest of your scions that's all for this week, folks. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have liked what you've seen here today, please consider heading on over to the Patreon pages. There'll be a link down in the description below. I'm super transparent with all the Patreon stuff. All the money that goes into the channel uh, via Patreon gets reinvested back into it. I use it to fund going to tournaments, to doing uh, for painting projects like the Great Morning Restoration Project, new armies for the channel. And of course, I've recently done a huge project with the new YouTube studio, The Battle Bunker. It goes without saying, but I'm gonna say it again. A huge thank you to all my current Patreon supporters. You guys truly are absolutely fantastic. And this channel has come on leaps and bounds thanks to the, your very generous and quite frankly humbling support of this channel. Anyway, we'll leave it there. You guys know I don't like to get too soppy on the Patreon stuff, but I do like to say a little bit of a thank you to them. They are truly fantastic, all the Patreon supporters. Hope you guys have enjoyed this. And of course, I'll see you guys next time.